Okay, then I will uh, welcome everybody to our virtual planning and zoning hearing for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Would everybody in the room please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, under God, indivisible. indivisible. Jim Harris, Lucas, Jim Harris, I'm here. You have to unmute. I'm here. I'm unmuted. I'm okay. Lucas Dale, here. Michael Gordon, here. Doug Hardy. Here. Donald Bergen. Dan McGowan. Chad Nelson. Here. Susanna Ballard. Luke, Luke Morris, are you there? Yes, I am here, yes. Any correspondence and announcements? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, yes, I do have a couple. Um, thank you for this uh, meeting this way. It's uh, doing our best to get through this time. So uh, the one thing I do have is that uh, Danny White has resigned his position on the as Planning and Zoning Commission. He was an alternate, me alternate member. So now there's another uh, opening. There are a total of two openings for both for alternate members. And if anyone's interested, they can contact the city clerk's office for an application packet to join the planning commission as an alternate member. Uh, the other thing is census 2020 is ongoing right now. Um, I did mine a couple of weeks ago. It was really easy. I was surprised how easy it was. So I encourage people to you got that thing in the mail. You could probably get a card and a letter, get the, got those in the mail. Follow the instructions on there. It's pretty simple and it's it's good for the for everyone. So I encourage you to partake in 2020 census. And with that, that concludes my present oh, my comments. Thank you. Okay, the uh, minutes from the last meeting. Are there any additions, deletions, corrections by any of the commissioners? I hear I see heads shaking. I don't hear anything. None. Okay, I will nope. entertain. I will entertain a motion uh, to approve. I'll make it a motion to approve the last meeting's minutes. Second. We okay, we have a motion by Mr. Nelson, a, ch a second by Mr. Gordon. Any further discussion? Uh, hearing none, let's go ahead and uh, we have to verbally vote. So, Madam Secretary, would you call the roll? Yes. Luke still. You have to unmute. Yes. Yes. Doug. You have to unmute your display. Yes. Okay. Mr. Nelson. Yes. Okay, motion approved. Okay. Um, all right, let me just uh, start by saying that this is still a public hearing and there is a structured order to this proceeding. The city staff will present each item. There will be time for the commission to ask questions of the staff and the applicant will have the opportunity to present their case to the commission. 
That being done, we will then open the proceeding to public comments. Uh, after public comments, I will then bring the, the uh, issue back to the table for the city staff's recommendation, discussion amongst us commissioners, and eventually a motion to approve or disapprove. The first item on today's agenda is, uh, and I do not have that in front of me here. Bear with me a second. Is this it? Okay. All right, so the first, first uh, item on the agenda today is ID number 202338. It is a request to amend the parking in common master plan for track 2217 block 20 by removing lots one, two and three. 3201 and 3207 Maricopa Avenue to allow vehicular access for fuel pumps with a canopy, a drive through and a car wash in the C-SGD Commercial Southgate District. Uh, Mr. Morris, your presentation, please. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, thank you. Uh, as you mentioned, this is a request for a, a tip, uh, excuse me, for a- Excuse me, Luke. Yes. Can you get a little closer to the microphone? You're coming in pretty garbled. And then also, should we announce that we will entertain comments on both of these issues because both issues are, are relating to the same item? Those are very good points. Um, I, is it, am I coming through clearer now? A little clearer. As you, as you mentioned, uh, the, actually, as you mentioned, this is a request for a parking and common amendment. There are two items on today's agenda. Both of them are for the same property. The first one is going to be for a parking and common amendment. The second item for the same property is a conditional use permit. During discussion of these items, I'm sure there'll be things that overlap between the conditional use permit and the parking and common descriptions. So there are two separate cases, but they're really gonna be talked about kind of at the same time. We will need separate motions for both of them. Um, for the first parking and common, there'll be a motion after that's done. And that's voted on. Then we'll go on to the next item, which we have probably have already covered pretty well. That's the, the, uh, the conditional use permit. That will also need a separate motion and action. So uh, we will discuss them probably together, but they will have, need to have separate motions because they're technically separate items. And uh, with that, um, I would like to start uh, my PowerPoint show or my screen, uh, a screen share my screen with the. Uh, Planning Commission meeting slideshow. So is everyone seeing the first, uh, seeing this slide of Planning and Zoning Commission meeting? I am. Yes. Okay, all right. Let's see if I can get this to work. All right, we're here. All right, so this is a request for to amend the parking in common as the commissioner mentioned. The subject property is in the, basically at the corner of Oro Grande Boulevard and Maricopa Avenue. Uh, it's near the Bashu Shopping Center. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So here's a close up of the area. The, the outlined in red are the three subject parcels, which is the subject property. Next to that up here is a vacant lot. And then over here in the corner is the uh, car wash that's owned by the applicant of this property, of this project. Um, and then of course, Maricopa Avenue is to the south. Um, the, the Dairy Queen here is to the west. And then across the alley, there's an apartment building. So this is a request to amend the parking in common. Here's the existing parking in common plan for that block. The subject properties here are again in red. The other two lots here, that we, the vacant lot and the car wash lot, are not part of this parking in common plan. Um, there have been other amendments throughout the years in the rest of this block. The, the Dairy Queen, which I mentioned, had a parking in common amendment to allow the drive through. And then we come down a little more. There's, uh, there was one for a coffee shop drive through, which subsequently was amended and changed to allow a car dealership for out, outdoor display of vehicles. And then farther down, uh, vacant lots here 
were recently in the last year or so approved for a, a car wash, um, full service uh, drive through car wash. Now we get to the site plan for this particular property. Again, the subject property is here outlined in red, the vacant lot, the existing car lot that the property owner uh, applicant own, uh, op owns and operates. Um, this is showing a request for fuel pumps out in front here, and then a drive through beside the convenience store, and then three wash bays here next to the, to the uh, convenience store. Access to the property is proposed by a driveway off of Maricopa Avenue, some cross connections uh, to the existing properties, and then connections to the alley. As far as the parking in common, if they're removed from the parking in common, then they have to provide all their required parking on site. So the required parking for the convenience store with fuel cell sales is 13 parking spaces. The drive through requires three parking stacking parking spaces. And then each of the wash bays requires one parking space. So that's a total of 19 parking spaces. Uh, a cursory, cursory review of the site plan shows with some minor modifications, they should be able to get 19 parking spaces on the property. Uh, it will, this project will require design review, formal design review, to ensure that it meets all the required parking and the landscaping and uh, the other requirements of the development code. And then the final slide here is um, an overlay, if you will, of the parking in common plan. The dark black lines are the parking in common plan and how it relates to what's being proposed. So. You generally, you see generally the building is where the building area is allowed to be. And then the, the pumps are here where the drive through or the travel aisles and the parking would have been in the parking and common plan. So I'll flip between those a little bit. So here's what's proposed. And then overlaid on top of that here is the parking and common plan. And with that it concludes the presentation. And open any comments you would have. Jim, I think you're muted. Unmute. Okay, are there any questions of uh, uh, staff by the commissioners? Mr. Mr. Still, you need to unmute. There you go. Um, was there a neighborhood meeting and was there any uh, anybody opposed to it? Thank you for that question. Uh, there was no neighborhood meeting required for this. What is a prerequisite is that they have to get at least 75% of the property owners within that parking common block to sign off on their approval, that they're okay with the, the request. Um, they did, we did receive a, of the, the number of the, excuse me, I have the right plan here. We did get the min. We got more than the minimum number required. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong staff report. Here we go. Okay, of the 75% that were required, uh, there were a total of nine property owners. They got seven, <coughs> which means 78% were uh, approved of the plan. So they were uh, above the the minimum threshold. Any, any other questions by commissioners of staff? Was there anybody that actually specifically wrote in and, and opposed it? We had no comments uh, from the public at all on this one. So no, no one Thank opposed you. Any other questions of staff by commissioners? Okay, hearing none, we do have the applicant online, I believe at uh, their architect's office. Are there any questions or does the applicant like, would? Would you like to make a presentation? You guys are going to have to unmute. Yeah, no, I don't have anything to add to what Jody has. Any questions? More than happy to answer. Okay. There are no, uh, there's no presentation, no questions by the applicant. So uh, this would be the time for public comments. And I believe we've already uh, stated that there were no co public comments. Is that correct? No comments. So I would uh, now bring it back to the 
uh, table for staff's recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. Staff finds that the proposed amendment has minimal impact on the overall implementation of the adopted parking and common plan for Block 20 of Track 2217. Based on the findings, the Development Review Committee recommends that the parking and common master plan for Track 2217, Block 20, be amended by removing lots one, two, and three to allow vehicular access for fuel pumps with a canopy, a drive-through, and a car wash in the CSGD district with the following conditions. Condition one, the project shall substantially match the site plan submitted with the application. And number two, if the property is not developed per this approval, it shall be developed to conform with the original master parking and common plan. Thank you. All right, any additional questions of staff by commissioners? Hearing none, uh, we are at the table for discussion and or emotion. Commissioners? I'll make a motion to Mr. approve. Mr. Still? Um, I don't have the verbiage in front of me. Can that be put on the screen or do you, can I just make a motion to approve staff's recommendations um, as presented? That's sufficient. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Still, a second by Mr. Hardy to approve the motion with staff's recommendations. Are there any further discussion by commissioners on the item? All right, let's go ahead and uh, place our votes. Uh, Madam Secretary, would you call the roll? Jim Harris? Uh, yes. Lucas Steele? Yes. Michael Gordon? Yes. Doug Hardy? Yes. And Chad Nelson? Yes. Motion passes five to zero. Okay, we've got that first part of that item. Let me announce the next. The next motion or the next item is ID two zero two three three nine. It's a request to approve the conditional use permit number two zero 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 three zero 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 two to allow a three bay self service car wash on track twenty two seventeen block 20, lots one, two, and three, which are 3201 and 3207 Maricopa Avenue in the C-SGD Commercial Southgate District. Mr. Morris, your presentation, please. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, thank you again. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen here with this PowerPoint presentation. What? Okay, so, uh, Again, as we discussed earlier, this is really this is the same property, the same project. In this case, uh, a, a car wash is the, per, is the allowed use, is the requested use. In this particular zoning district, that requires a conditional use permit. So uh, we're going through this process. We've already done the parking and common amendment to allow the parking lot in front to be used uh, as part of the property and not set aside for shared parking. So. Again, the subject property is the corner of Oro Grande and Maricopa near the Bashes Shopping Center. Uh, these are the same slides we're zooming in, just the vacant lot in the corner, and then the, the applicant owns the car wash here on the other, this corner, and then uh, as well as these properties that are the subject of this request. The Dairy Queen is to the west, Maricopa Avenue here on the south. Again, here's the parking and common plan. We've gone through that. You've, approve that parking and common amendment. Here's the site plan again with the vacant lot, the applicant's property here with the existing car wash, and then the subject property here with the proposed car wash and in addition to the convenience store and the, the uh, gas station. The subject of this conditional use permit is only for the car wash portion of this project. And with that, uh, uh, this concludes my presentation. All right, do we have any questions by uh, the commissioners of staff? Nice. Mr. Gordon, did you have something? No, I'm good. All right. So I'll then go to the applicant. Does the applicant have anything to present or to add?
I don't have anything to add. All right. Thank you. Again, it's time for a uh, public comment. Did we have any public comment on this issue? No comments were received. No comments. So at this point, then I'll bring it back to the table for staff's recommendations and uh, and the balance of their presentation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Uh, staff finds that the proposed conditional use permit meets all the requirements set forth in Code Section 140504G. Based on the findings, the Development Review Committee recommends approval of conditional use permit 20 003 to allow a three bay self service car wash on track 2217, block 20, lots 1, 2, and 3 in the CSGD district with the following condition. The proposed project shall go through the formal design review process to determine that all sections of the development code have been met. Thank you. Okay, are there any questions of staff? Hearing none, we are at the table for a motion and or discussion, commissioners. I'll make a motion to approve ID number 20-2339 a request for a conditional use permit to allow a car wash in the C-SGD district with staff's recommendations. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Nelson to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a second by Mr. Gordon. Any further discussion on this issue? Excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have a roll call vote, Madam Secretary. Kim Harris? Uh, yes. Lucas Dale? Yes. Michael Gordon? Sorry, yes. Doug Hardy? Doug, you're going to have to unmute. It looks like he said yes. One more time, Doug. Yes. <laughs> okay. And and Mr. Nelson. Yes. Huh. Motion passes five to zero. Okay, we're unanimous. Congratulations to the applicant. Uh, good luck. All right, uh, Mr. Morris, future meetings, please. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, thank you. Uh, yes, there is going to be a meeting. The next scheduled meeting is May sixth, twenty twenty. And we do have an item scheduled for that. So we look forward to doing this again. We'll see. Hopefully we won't be able to, hopefully we'll, won't need to do it this way, but we still may be. We'll see. But thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody that participated. Um, I guess at this point, there will be no call to the public because of the virtual meeting. So we stand adjourned. Thank you for your participation. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, have a good day, everybody. Bye.